I'm Rita Heikenfeld with AboutEating.com. Hi, I'm Rita Heikenfeld. You're not going to believe what I have today. Look at this. It's a tomato. It's like a baseball. I could throw this to Justin, our videographer, and he could catch it. It's a great way to preserve tomatoes. Now, for years, I used to freeze cherry tomatoes like these whole because cherry tomatoes have a lot of sugar, less uh, water than some big tomatoes. But I never thought to freeze large tomatoes without blanching uh, to, to uh, kill the enzymes until this year. Now, the traditional way to uh, freeze whole large tomatoes is to blanch. Blanching, you put the tomato in boiling water, the peel comes off, that uh, prevents the enzymes from continuing to allow the tomato to ripen in the freezer. But what if you don't have time to do all that? And I heard this the other day, and it makes such sense, and my aunt's been doing this for years. Just freeze the tomatoes whole, like this, until they're rock hard, both cherry and large. Then what you want to do, when you're ready to use them, after they've frozen hard, then I would put them in freezer-safe containers. And then when you want to use them, I'm going to take these over to the sink. You're not going to believe how easy this peel comes off. You just want to run them over tepid water or cool water just for a few seconds. Oh my gosh, these are coming off already. I'm going to bring them over for you to see. Look at this. Now, of course, we know, let's pull this out, the cherry tomato, the skin's going to fall right off. Look at that. Perfect. Just perfect. And by the way, if you don't even want to go this step, you can just blend, put the tomatoes in a food processor or a blender, just core them, seed them, leave the peels on, and just freeze them as is. Now, look at this. Is this beautiful? Look how it's just slipping right off. Just beautiful. I want to show you a yellow tomato also. Haven't peeled that all the way. Let's see how this is working. All right, this may need a little bit. This needs a little bit more water, but see what's happening here? This peel slips right off. That is just beautiful. You can do the cherry tomatoes, the pear tomatoes, the regular tomatoes. And the interesting thing is, once the peel comes off, it slips off just like you're taking off a glove. Now, in order to use these tomatoes, no, you can't use them fresh in salads, but they are great to use in sauces. They're going to be cooked anyway, so those enzymes, um, as far as cooking the tomatoes, blanching them to, set the, to kill the enzymes, I don't know that it's going to matter that much in this. And you know what? It's a great way to preserve tomatoes. It allows you to do it in just one-tenth of the time. See how chalky and icy it looks in there? Just chunk it up, put it in your soups and stews. Um, and then you'll be ready to go.